I really hate to talk about the Russian collusion because it's a big load of hooey. Sometimes you have to call people out. And so I want to do that this week with the NPR Network, a taxpayer-funded thing. Not as much as it used to be, but it's still there. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't want a penny of my money going to these buffoons. Here's the latest. So there must have been a reporter, and I will not name this person because like mass shooters, they deserve no glory. They must have been laying in their bed one night thinking, hey, I want to be a hero to the left. You know, how can I get involved in this Russian collusion thing and make a name for myself as a reporter? And so they thought, hey, you know what? I know they hate the Russians because obviously they gave the election to Donald Trump. They're the reason Hillary lost. And they also hate the NRA. I mean, the NRA is responsible for all mass shootings. And so is there any connection between those two? And so they set out to find the connection, and they did. And that's what this article is about that they released this week. Uh, Just Google it, NPR and NRA, and you'll find it. Here's what the article said. There was a Russian dude who was in politics in Russia. Ready for this? Hang with this rolling logical theme here. In 2012, he joined the NRA, paid dues. Point two, he started attending NRA conventions and meetings. Step three, he showed up in Nashville in 2015 when the the, uh, NRA convention was held there and Donald Trump was the featured speaker and he met him. It's true. It's all true. And so from this, we know that this Russian guy is using the NRA by infiltrating so that he and the Russians can influence politics in Washington, D.C. Man, makes all the sense in the world. The only question I have is, you know, I didn't realize there were so many Hillary supporters at the NRA convention. But hey, we learn stuff all the time. Let me just say this. That is the biggest load of crock I've ever heard in my life. That is despicable if that's considered reporting. It is shameful. And I hope every person listening to this will, you know, agree with me on that. And man, let's do what we can to straighten this mess out. And by the way, in the vein of that reporter, I have my own report coming up that will give you a brand new piece of evidence of the Russian collusion. I'm going to show how the Russian collusion really started in 1938. You don't want to miss that.